welcome to Montenegro. Today we have come to Montenegro. So from Dubrovnik, it was about a two hour drive to get here. Um, we're gonna take a little day trip. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're in Petrus and we're going to take a boat to the Lady of the Rock and then we're going to explore the Bay of Couture. Thank you very much. Thank you. We just set sail heading towards the Lady of the Rocks. The boat trip took less than five minutes. We've just made it to Our Lady of the Rocks and we're gonna go explore the island. You're probably wondering what Our Lady of the Rocks is. So behind me, you can see the chapel. This island was formed because two sailors came here and they saw an icon of the Virgin Mary and a child and they thought that this was good luck. So what they did was they left stones here and over time it just became a tradition that people would leave more and more stones. And that's how the island develops. They even have the one-way ticket logo over here, which is very cool. It's pretty cool how two sailors just decided to drop rocks in the middle of a bay and over time it built up to be an artificial island. As mentioned before, Our Lady of the Rocks is right in the middle of Kotor Bay and all around us are these high mountains and it's such a pretty sight. You can see the town of Parast with its orange roofs. It's gorgeous out here. To enter the chapel, it's free to walk around and explore, but if you want to check out the museum, it costs two euro per person. It looks like there are lots of different boats that take you from Presat to the island. We looked up um, online and we found a blog that said, find the white boat called Daro. It's five euro to get across. So I'm not sure how much the other boat companies charge, but I think the fair price to get to the island is five euro per person. I think you only need about 30 to 45 minutes to explore the island. Um, all that's here is a chapel and a museum. So this is a really nice place to come, take some pictures, just maybe relax a little bit and then get the boat to go back. There are two islands out here. One of them is Our Lady of the Rocks and the other one is St. George. The only one that you can visit is Our Lady of the Rocks. St. George is a natural island and Our Lady of the Rocks is an artificial island. Try to get here before 12 o'clock because the crowds definitely start increasing as the tour buses start arriving in Couture. If you're coming to Persat and you want to visit Our Lady of the Rock, we have a little piece of advice for you there are going to be scammers in the parking lot areas. So be aware of that because they're gonna come up to you and they're gonna tell you that it costs 10 euro to get to Our Lady of the Rocks. It's only five euro per person if you use Dado, which is a white boat that you will see um, in the port area. Parking is free before May 1st. And after that, there is an official parking attendant that will charge you five euro for parking. So watch out for the scammers don't spend any extra money that's unnecessary we're gonna drive to Couture it's approximately a 20 minute drive and we're gonna get some lunch because it's approximately midday we have successfully arrived in Couture and upon first appearances it's a lot busier than Parast Parast was a small sleepy little town Couture is bustling with activity we've made our way to the entrance of Couture's old town to go through it, you need to go through the sea gate. Well, they have three main entrances, but this is one of them. We just walked into the old town and immediately been transported back a couple of centuries. We have made our way to Cesarica, which basically means queen in Montenegrin. And to get here, we had to walk through an assortment of alleyways, little streets, it's a very cool place. I'm very excited to explore Couture after we've had food though. We're going to go with the grilled squid that is stuffed with cheese and we're also going to try the fried squid. One of the local beers here is called Nikshishko, so we're going to try that as well. Our food just came and I've never been this excited. No, that's a lie. <laughs> he gets that excited for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh my goodness, the stuffed squid is fantastic. 
I think it's stuffed with cheese and olive oil and spices. It's so good. I gotta say, in this part of the world, they know how to do calamari. We've been having it pretty frequently, but I gotta say this might be some of the best. It's lightly battered and the squid is just seasoned and cooked perfectly. I have some friends that have joined us for lunch. Lunch was absolutely fantastic at Cesarizza. It's given us fuel to tackle our next adventure and that is to climb up and do a bit of a hike. Yeah, as we were coming in, we could see the hiking path. It looks pretty steep, but we talked to the waitress and she said it only takes like maybe an hour to get up there. And she said you can kind of cheat and stop at the 20 minute point and you'll still get great views of the bay. So that's what we're gonna do. We've made it to the gate. It's time to start the hike. We're just seeing a bunch of weary old people coming no, down. They look fresh. They don't look like they've done any hiking. <laughs> Should be interesting. We have started the official hike. For this you have to pay 8 euros just uh, 100 meters down from the gate and that allows you to enter and do the hike. So it seems like people are just coming back down and this is well worth it. We'll keep you posted. So initially we said we were going to stop at the church. He said it's about 10 minutes up. I think we should just go all the way to the top. You have to be really careful when you're climbing up this. The rocks are pretty slippery. I've already slipped once. If you are scared of slipping, they do have stairs right next to the path, so you can alternate between the two. We've had a little rest. We're a third of the way up. Let's finish it. Okay, this is where we're trying to go. Would you say we're two thirds of the way up? I'd say three quarters. If you think about it from the gate, yeah, we're definitely three quarters in terms of pure height. Okay. Getting there, step by step. As P. Diddy said, every step you take, I'm getting there. I'll be watching you. <laughs> we are at our final section. We are at a place called the Ladders of Couture. It's a short but steep section. Ellie is just so slow on these hikes. I have to turn around and wait for him all the time. What can I say? I'm a popular guy. People talk to me on the trails. <laughs> this is a hard hike, but I think once we get to the top and we have views over the Couture Bay, it's going to be all worth it. This area of the hike kind of reminds me of like a medieval fort area. Now I get what people say when they say this part is super steep. It's like a straight incline. The way, yeah. This is turning out to be so much fun. It's like an adventure. We have no idea where we're going to end up. The flag, nearly there. We did it! We made it to the top. How long do you think it took us? Stops, talks, everything included, around an hour, wow. hour and a half. Not bad. Look at the views. Up here for, I think, five ten minutes catching our breath and it was good it's it a good hike. I feel very accomplished right now there were moments where going up the hike especially at the ladder of Kotor I was like oh this is really worth it or if you only want to go maybe like 20 minutes into the hike if you stop at the church the views are good from there too you don't have to go all the way to the top personally I feel the views from the church are a lot better because as you get higher there's a lot of shrubs covering the old city so uh, the one-way ticket top tip for you. <laughs> Just go to the church and it's good enough. <laughs> but if you want a little bit of exercise, pay eight euros, climb all the way to the top. We've started our trip down. Hopefully we don't twist an ankle. Should be a lot shorter going down than it was coming up. We Did made it. it safe and sound, no broken ankles. Good job. Now, time for gelato. Earlier in the day, we were talking to a very nice family and they recommended a gelato place called Moritz Ice. And uh, they strongly recommended to get the lemon and mint 
gelato. So I think they, they kind of sold us. They were very, very adamant that you need to get that. So shout out to you guys. Just had a bit of a blonde moment. Go into the ice cream shop and the lady is like, do you want the ice cream in a cup or a cone? And I was like, am I a Capricorn? No, I'm Scorpio. She just looked at me and was like, okay, cup or cone? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, Ali did try to get the lemon with the mint and they said it's been sold out for two days. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the salted caramel and oh man, perfect. Perfect for apre hike. We have noticed that Couture is filled with cats. So while we're eating lunch, the cats were all around us. Everywhere we walk, we see cats everywhere. We're just walking around the old town of Couture and it seems to be just like Dubrovnik, only smaller, narrower, and a lot less steep. Just as we have reached the end of Couture, we can get a very good idea of where we went for our hike. Safe to say we're very proud right now. Yeah, when I look at it from this level, it is way <laughs> up there. It's high, boy. <laughs> but you should definitely do it. We hope you've enjoyed our day trip to Couture. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays, so if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us.